Good afternoon traders. Welcome to this overview of the statistical arbitrage version 2.5 system. First things first, um, in order to identify suitable pairs to ARB, we need to look at the correlations on a longer term uh, time frames. And you can see here on the chart, I, I'm looking at the daily uh, real time foreign exchange correlation data for a variety of pairs. Um, we can see um, pairs where there is a green um, number, meaning it's over 80% correlated or 0.8 correlation. Um, these are good candidates for arbitrage opportunities. So if we can, reading off the correlation chart, we can see the euro dollar and cable um, currently running in at 90.73 correlation um, same thing down Aussie dollar euro dollar 86.5 um, and Aussie dollar cable 82.38 so those pairs look pretty interesting and also dollar yen and dollar Swiss franc so those uh, those pairs look pretty interesting for um, our purposes because uh, what we're looking for is essentially we're, w we're looking for the correlation on the shorter time frames to break down and give us opportunities which which we can exploit. Um, I'm just going to chat you through how the system is set up first of all. So let's just close this chart and we'll open a new chart. Let's go to a euro dollar chart and the first thing we need to do is load the STD indicator and this has actually got default settings of pair 1 euro dollar and uh, pair 2 euro yen let's change those to euro dollar and actually we'll go to uh, US dollar Japanese yen and US dollar Swiss franc so we can see here um, the STD indicator is loaded on an hourly chart and what this is telling us let's just tidy this up a little bit by just shifting the chart over to the left a little bit so what this is giving us is the current spread which is in blue the blue line here oscillating around a moving average of that spread which is the white line let's just zoom into this chart a little bit more so the blue line here is the spread, light blue line is the spread, which is basically the spread is the log price of the dollar yen um, and then with the log price of the dollar Swiss franc subtracted from it. And the reason you use logarithmic scales is basically to balance out differences in pricing. Um, so for example, uh, yen crosses are typically in the hundreds, if you like. Um, whereas euro dollar uh, and cable pricing, all those all those pairs, is you know 1.5 etc. or whatever it might be. By but by using a log scale, we can compare um, values which are quite different in real terms. Um, so this is an important thing to do. The other thing you can see here is this around the actual white moving average of the spread. There is a, a dashed blue line and that represents the cost of actually opening an ARB and so that's quite an important thing because we don't want to set our trigger levels uh, inside the spread cost on the spread cost channel which is how we defined it on here if we go down to a, a smaller time scale we can see here this is on a five minute chart um, again we can see the spread cost channel just oscillating around a little bit, it'll, it will always dynamically adjust to any fluctuations in the spread um, for both pairs and we can see the dotted or dashed red line above here is in this case uh, plus two standard deviations away from the mean and the dotted yellow line or dashed yellow line down here is minus two standard deviations away from the mean and you can see this is confirmed by the data output window here where we can see our STD multiple is set at 1 it gives us our moving average 
and gives you your upper trigger level which is plus two as I just said the spread the spread cross channel we just talked about which is the dashed blue lines around the moving average and the lower trigger which is minus two standard deviations um, we also have what we call a reversion target and um, if the reversion target is set so that we're looking for the for the actual ARP to retrace to the mean um, that's the default value so in this case th it's saying the reversion target is 4.4832 and if we look at where the spread currently is now it's 4.4832 so that's basically where our target will be currently the MA Delta threshold represent is represented by these um, small dashed green lines which are above and below the um, current um, moving average and the idea behind this is we can set um, a width for these lines so that if the spread breaches those lines within the last five periods because they're drawn over a five period um, range um, basically the, the spread will be deemed uh, non-stationary or directional uh, and that's quite an important thing for um, ARP trading. What we're looking for is particularly in high frequency scenarios, say for example if you're trading the overnight Asian session we're looking for the spread to be stationary i.e. not moving up or down or, or taking on a particular direction we want a nice oscillation up and down and we can use the MA Delta threshold to help us screen out uh, spreads which which fit uh, a stationary nature and below that you can see a spread status is saying here that spread is stationary because it's between the MA Delta threshold channels and it's saying it's decoupling um, or in fact it's just changed to recoupling now because it's moving the actual spread the light blue line is moving back towards the moving average which is in white so that's a, a scenario where the spread is recoupling so we've got a stationary recoupling spread. The long-term trend um, is calculated using a default look-back period of 20 periods, which can be adjusted. And what it's doing is it's looking back at the current MA value now, um, which is uh, 4.483, and it's going back and paying it to the moving average value 20 periods ago. So if we go back um, 20 periods, so it's going to be roughly around about here we can see basically the current value is below the value 20 periods ago so the long-term trend is deemed as falling and obviously you can adjust this um, to meet your requirements so that's just a quick overview of the STD indicator um, let's um, do another video for the arbitrage engine which would bring it all together. Thanks for watching.